General Santos, officially the city of General Santos, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa General Santos, Hiligaynon, Dakbanwat, Sayadad sang General Santos, Filipino, Lungsod ng General Santos, referred to as General Santos City and abbreviated as Jensen, is a first-class highly urbanized city in Soxsargan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 594,446 people. Located on the island of Mindanao, it is the southernmost and 15th most populous city in the Philippines. It is the regional center for commerce and industry of the Soxsargan region, and is geographically located within the province of South Cotabato but administered independently of it. Formerly known as Dadangas, the city was named after Gen. Paulino Santos, a former commanding general of the Philippine Army and the settlement's leading pioneer. History The nomadic B. Lon people are the original inhabitants of General Santos, and traces of their early settlement of the area are found in the city's place names, which are derived from their vocabulary. Their name for the city, Dadangas, is from the thorny Zizifus spina Christi tree that was once abundant in the area and is now a protected species under Republic Act 8371 or the Indigenous Peoples Right Act of 2007. The B. Lon tribe presently lives alongside the city's new generation of settlers and other immigrants. Waves of migration Organized under the National Land Settlement Administration NLSA of the Commonwealth Government headed by President Manuel L. Quezon, General Paulino Santos led the relocation of 62 Christian settlers from Luzon to the shores of Sarangani Bay aboard the steamship Basilan of Compania Maritima on February 27, 1939. The 62 pioneers, mostly agricultural and trade graduates, were the first large batch of settlers to land in the area with the mission to industriously cultivate the region. After this first influx of pioneers, thousands more Christians from Luzon and the Visayas have subsequently moved into the area, gradually driving some of the resident Balan to the mountains, who have lost their livelihood. In March 1939, the first formal settlement in the city was established in Alagayo, which is now known as Barangay Ligayo. Ligayo District was known then as the Municipal District of Buayan, under the jurisdiction of the Deputy Governor of the Municipal District of Glan. Until it officially became an independent municipal district of Buayan on October 1, 1940, appointing Datu Sharif Zainal Abedin, an Arab mestizo married to a daughter of a very influential Datu of Lower Buoyan as the first district municipal mayor. Second World War During the Second World War, the municipal district of Buoyan became one of the last frontiers between the combined American and Filipino forces and troops from the Empire of Japan. Retreating Imperial Japanese forces made Klaja Karsts land their last ground for defense, constructing round cement bunkers and tunnels. These bunkers can still be seen at Sitio Guadalupe. Most of the tunnels, however, have since been damaged and even destroyed by treasure hunters and land developers. Renaming and elevation to city status a year after the Philippines regained full sovereignty from the United States on July 4, 1946, the municipality of Buayan became a fourth-class regular municipality by virtue of the Executive Order No. 82, dated August 18, 1947 by President Manuel Roxas, absorbing the municipal district of Glan whose low income bracket at the time disqualified it for the honor. Dadangas was the seat of government for the municipality of Buayan electing Irenio Santiago as its first municipal mayor on a local election that was held on November 11, 1947. Mayor Santiago was formally inducted on January 1, 1948. Six years later, in June 1954, the municipality of Buayan was renamed General Santos as a tribute to the leading pioneer via Act No. 1107 authored by Congressman Luminog Mangelan of Cotabato Province. From 1963 to 1967, the municipality's economy experienced a boom under Mayor Lucio A. Velayo, as several large agri-based and multinational firms such as Dole Philippines, General Milling Corporation and UDAGRI expanded into the area. 
Although it was then qualified to become a fourth-class city from being a municipality, the residents rejected a move by Congressman Salapata Pendadan to convert the municipality of Buayan into a city and to rename it Raja Buayan. On July 8, 1968, the municipality of General Santos was converted into a city upon the approval of Republic Act No. 5412, authored by Congressman James Elchingbian. It was inaugurated on September 5 of that year, with Antonio C. Acaran became the new city's first mayor. On 5 September in the year 1988, a decade after its inauguration as a chartered city, Jensen was declared a highly urbanized city of South Cotabato. Geography General Santos City lies at the southern part of the Philippines. It is located at 6 degrees 7. In 125 degrees 10. E latitude. The city is southeast of Manila, southeast of Cebu and southwest of Davao. The city is bounded by municipalities of Sarangani Province namely Alabel in the east, and Masim in the south. General Santos is likewise bounded by the South Cotabato Municipality of Palamalac and Sarangani Province Municipality of Malungan in the north, and the Municipality of Boli in the west. Climate General Santos City has a tropical wet and dry climate, Köppen climate classification A. It is considered to be one of the driest places in the Philippines, even with a less pronounced dry season. Barangays General Santos City is politically subdivided into 26 barangays. Demographics There are two major languages spoken in the city, with Cebuano being widely spoken and being used by the local media outlets in the city television, radio, and newspapers, followed by Ilongo, which is used mainly by settlers who came from the provinces of South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, North Cotabato and Maguindano, as well as immigrants from the provinces of Negros Occidental, Iloilo and Guimaras. Religion the predominant religion in the city is Christianity, with the largest denomination being the Catholic Church, comprising almost 90% of the population. About 9% of the population belongs to Islam, mostly Sunnites. Economy The city's major economic activity is primarily anchored in two sectors namely the agro-industry and fishing industry. Agro-industry, endowed with rich volcanic soil, ample and well-distributed rainfall all throughout the year and a typhoon-free climate, General Santos City produces export-quality high-valued crops such as corn, coconut, pineapple, asparagus, banana and rice. It also yields quality exotic fruits, vegetables and cut flowers. The city is also a top producer and exporter of quality livestock such as poultry, hogs, and cattle. But with the continuing growth in population and economy in the passing of time, a number of the city's agricultural lands have gradually been converted into built-up areas in order to address the relatively growing need of dwelling and viable spaces. Fishing industry, General Santos City is the largest producer of sashimi-grade tuna in the Philippines, thus in as early as 1970, the title, Tuna Capital of the Philippines, has become a tag to it. Jensen also accounts for the second largest daily total catch of fish in the country after Navotas City in the national capital region. Locals in the city boast that fishes and seafoods do not come fresher than what is found in their locality. The fishing industry in Jensen yields a total daily capacity of 750 metric tons of fish catch alone and employs about 7,800 workers. Which is why General Santos City is home to 7th 7 tuna processing plants in the country. The fishport complex in Barangay Tambler has a 750 meters (2,460 feet) key and a 300 meters (980 feet) wharf for 2,000 GT reefer carriers. The fishport is equipped with modern facilities that comply with international standards on fish catch handling. General Santos City has registered 1,365 new medium to large enterprises in 2011. An aggregate investment involved is estimated 1.202 billion Philippine pesos. 
Top industry for new investment in 2011 are as follows, hotel and restaurant 31%, wholesale and retail trade 20%, repair of motor vehicles, motorcycles and personal and household goods, real estate and renting business activities 17%, other community, social and personal services 8%, financial intermediation 5%, manufacturing 5%, fishing 3%, ICT 3% as of 2000, there are 59 banks serving the city. This composed of 46 commercial banks, 5 savings banks, 7 rural banks and 1 cooperative bank. Aside from this, there are 48 lending institutions as well as 49 pawnshops providing emergency loan assistance. Shopping General Santos City is the shopping capital of the Soxergen region. Residents from nearby towns and provinces visit the city to do shopping and enjoy life and leisure activities. There are several huge shopping malls in the city, notable ones are KCC Mall of Jensen, SM City General Santos, Robinson's Place Jensen, Gaisano Mall of Jensen, Road Plaza, Fitmart, Baranza Mall, and the newest addition to the city which is Road City Mall located at Brigi. Kalampang and Unitop Shopping Mall in Brigi. Dating is west. SM Savemore has two branches in the city and another branch will be built within the downtown area. There are also news about building an Ayala Mall and Pure Gold. These malls are home to both national and international brands of retail merchandises as well as restaurants and cafes. There are many merchandise and large groceries owned by local and foreign Chinese, Taiwanese and Korean businessmen in the city. Infrastructure communication modern and state-of-the-art communication facilities at par with global standards are readily available and are provided in General Santos City by major telecommunication companies in the country. These include voice, data, internet and network solutions, among others, in both wired and mobile forms. Transportation Jensen and the whole of Soxsargon can be reached by air, land, or sea. Air transportation The General Santos International Airport is the largest airport in Mindanao. It has a 3,227-meter concrete runway capable of handling wide-bodied jets like Airbus A340 and Boeing 747. It was also called Raja Buyan Airport in the 1990s and Tambler Airport in year 2008 before it was renamed to its current name. Flights to and from Manila, Iloilo, and Cebu are currently being operated in the airport by Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific. General Santos International Airport is the second busiest airport in Mindanao and ninth busiest airport in the Philippines. Sea transportation The Makar Wharf is the main international sea port of the city and is one of the finest sea ports in the country. It is location in Barangay Labangal, away from the central business district. With a 740 meters 2430 feet docking length and a 19 meters 62 feet width the wharf can accommodate up to 9 9 ship berthing positions all at the same time the port is complete with modern facilities like container yards storage and weighing bridges to name a few several shipping companies operate regular inter-island ferry service to and from other major ports in Luzon Visayas and Mindanao Negros Navigation, Superferry and Sulpicio Lines provide these inter-island shipping routes while numerous Indonesian shipping lines operate international ferry service between General Santos City and neighboring ports in Indonesia carrying both passenger and cargo loads. Land transportation commuting in and around General Santos City is a fast and convenient ride. More than 400 passenger buses, public utility vans and jeepneys wheeled routes within the city and neighboring provinces like in Coronadal, Cotabato, Davao, Takarong, Pagadian, Cagayan de Oro and others. Three-wheeled motorized cabs known as tricycles are the city's main mode of public transport and have been on the road since the pioneering times. Air-conditioned taxis also ply the city streets offering commuters a choice of a more comfortable mode of transportation. Maintained by the city engineers. Office, the city. South major road networks are paved and endowed with safety road marks, signs and signals to ensure a secure and efficient traffic flow within the city. The Pan-Philippine Highway links the city by land to other major cities in Mindanao and to the rest of the country. The General Santos City Terminal. Popularly known as Bulaying Terminal, located in Barangay Dadangas North is the city. S main integrated land transport terminal. The terminal serves as the city's gateway for land travelers. 
Buses and other forms of public mass transportation to and from various parts of Mindanao such as Coronadal, Takarong, Cotabato, Davao, Kitapawan, Digos, Pagadian, and Cagayan de Oro. Utilities Power Majority of the city S power supply is being serviced by the Second District of South Cotabato Electric Cooperative The said power distributor acquires the majority of its power needs for the city's consumption from the National Transmission Corporation Transco, while other sources are drawn from various independent power producers IPP, from nearby power plants and barges, water, majority of the households and other entities in the city are provided and serviced with clean, safe and potable water supply from deep well sources by General Santos City Water District GSCWD. potable water sources in other far-flung and remote parts of the city where cannot be reached by the local water utility service are being served by their individual barangay water and sanitation systems, waste management, in a bid to achieve an efficient and sustainable management of non-hazardous waste the city produces every single day, the finalization and construction of the city's waste water treatment facility is currently underway at the corner of Pia Caron and I. Santiago Boulevards, the said location is adjacent to the city public market and is the former site of the city. S. Fish Landing. The facility will include settling ponds and anaerobic reactors, among others, likewise is the finalization stage for the construction of a multi-million peso solid waste management and disposal system in Barangay Sinawal. The new and modern solid waste management facility will replace the existing city dump site in Barangay Sigel. Security and Civil Defense the Philippine National Police, a military task force has been formed to protect the city from terrorist attacks and other crime. Task Force Jensen is affiliated with the Philippine Army and headed by an army colonel. Eight police stations are built on each barangay to keep the safeness and a peaceful order in city. Agencies and organizations are forming a good and peaceful will to group and order in a city. Health Services the average life expectancy of Gensanon is 70 for females and 65 for males. There are 19 hospitals, with a total of 1,963 beds, in the city including Jensen Doctors Hospital, St. Elizabeth Hospital, Socsargen County Hospital, Mindanao Medical Center, R.O. Diagon Cooperative Hospital, General Santos City District Hospital and the newly built Jensen Medical Center in Barangay Calampang servicing a care for the people. There is an ongoing construction of expected hospital in Barangay Apapong and Barangay Ligayo along National Highway going to Barangay Katangawan. Education Aside from more than 50 private schools, such as the Quantum Academy, and more than 100 public schools, General Santos City hosts three universities. These are the Notre Dame of Dadangas University, Mindanao State University, General Santos and New Era University, General Santos Campus. It also houses colleges such as the Doña Lourdes Institute of Technology. Soon, the General Santos Campus of the country's oldest academic institution, University of Santo Tomas, will rise in Barangay Ligaya. Media Notable media publications in the city are the Sustar General Santos, Periodico Banat, Sapol, and other local newspapers. Brigda Newspaper General Santos is the most popular newspaper company in the city. There are several television stations in the city that are owned and operated by broadcasting networks. ABS CBN 3 Sox Sargon, GMA 8 Sox Sargon, TV 5 Channel 12 Jensen, GMA News TV 26, Brigda News TV 34, ABS CBN Sports Plus Action Channel 36, GNN Channel 43, and UNTV Channel 48. Most of these television networks reaches as far as Davao Region and Northern Mindanao, and caters the whole SOCCSKSARGEN region. Major and other minor cable and satellite television companies are also operating in the city. 
Most of the FM and AM radio stations are operating in the city 24 hours a day such as more 92.7 General Santos, 89.5 Brigda News FM, IFM 91.9, 94.3 Yes. FM General Santos, Radio 5 97.5 News FM, K101.5 Love Radio Jensen, Barangay 102.3 Jensen and others. There are three local newscasts programs in General Santos, TV Patrol Soxsargon, ABS CBN3 Soxsargon, GMA Soxsargon Flash Bulletin, GMA8 Soxsargon, Belita 38, EG TV Channel 46, and Rhonda Brigda, Brigda News TV Channel 34. Notable people Sebastian Benedict, baby based, of Eat Bulaga, child actor. Gerald Anderson, actor. Ethel Buba, TV personality. Malay Cantiveros, actress. Nonito Donaire, professional boxer. Rolando Navarat, professional boxer. Jinky Pacquiao, politician. Manny Pacquiao, professional boxer Bo Purisal, head coach UAAP Basketball of Ateneo de Manila University Blue Eagles Shamsi Sapsup, Miss Universe 2011 pageant third runner-up Zendi Rose Tenerife, singer, YouTube personality XB Jensen, dance group, grand champion, Showtime Season 1 Sister cities Local Butuan, Agusan del Norte Cebu City, Cebu Makati, Metro Manila Roxas City, Capiz Iligan, Lanao del Norte Ozamis City, Misamis Occidental Naga City, Camarines Sur International Canberra, Australia Peking, China Mascota, Mexico Monterey, Mexico Hidano, Kanagawa, Japan See also List of renamed cities and municipalities of the Philippines References External links Official website of the City of General Santos Philippine Standard Geographic Code